Today I'm going to be running you guys through the Logitech Pro X Super Light 2 wireless mouse. We're going to be running you through the software settings to show you what can be customized in the G Hub software. So when you install the Logitech G Hub software, this is going to be the screen you're greeted with. You're going to have an overview of some of your mouse specs here. It's going to show you your battery life as well as how you're connected and also a icon that shows if you're in power saving mode with their hybrid optical switches. And then on the bottom here, you actually do have onboard memory with this mouse and to toggle it, you just click it and then you can see the icon glows blue. And if we go ahead and click on the settings tab, you can go ahead and actually switch between different profiles here and assign different profiles to different games. So for example, if I wanted profile five to be for the game Valheim, I would just click that and now it's gonna be the default here for Valheim. However, if I want to remove that, I just click it and then go ahead and click Restore to default. Now you can also see that you can toggle your onboard memory off or on by pressing that button over there. And then over here, you can have light force switch. So basically this mouse has hybrid click switches and you can have it optical only, but it's going to consume a bit more battery life. But if you have it in hybrid, it'll add a bit of battery life. That's pretty much the settings menu. And if we go ahead and click back, you can also organize the products you have in different views, depending on if you have many different Logitech products. And then here you can see some of your different profiles that you can customize. So for me, I'm just gonna leave it on desktop, but if you did want specific settings for specific games, you would just click that, and then you can go ahead and change the shortcuts. Now to customize this mouse further, what you do is you click on the mouse here, and then the first thing here, you're gonna see this tab on the left. This is sensitivity, this is your DPI. So running through some of the stuff here on the left, these are some presets that Logitech gives you. So you can have like default settings, first person gaming settings, first person XY split, so you can do a lot of different things, including MMORPGs, and you can cycle between different DPI levels, change how many slots are available, what the minimum DPI amount could be, and a bunch of other stuff. If I click on one of these icons, I can go ahead and set it as active or assign it as a default. And here are the presets. Now, if you don't like any of these, you can also create your own custom preset and use that instead of either of these. And if we scroll down on the DPI settings, this is where you can configure how fast the polling rate is on the mouse. So you have a wireless mode with this is using the light speed USB dongle. It's maxed out at 2000 Hertz. And then you also have a wired polling rate, which is maxed out at 1000 Hertz. And then you have the hero sensor calibration, which allows you to configure how smooth the mouse is based on your mouse pad. And then if you click up here on the globe, you can browse different community members settings and use some of theirs. There's not too many here since this is a fairly new mouse, but you can go ahead and choose one of these. Once this mouse starts to age, there are gonna be much more profiles here to choose from. Now, if we click back over here and then click on the mouse again, there's gonna be another tab here called assignments. And this is where the real customization actually happens. So you have some presets here under editing, and this is your typical video editing software. Here you have like Windows commands. And then if you keep scrolling, there's some productivity commands that you can use. However, if you wanna assign a one specific key, you can go ahead and have all of the keys here. And these are gonna be your typical keyboard shortcuts. So let's say you wanted to assign one of these keys like the letter Z to the back button. All you do is you drag the letter Z onto the back text. And now you can see when I press this letter Z, if I press it on my mouse now, you can see it's actually typing it in there. Now, if you wanna remove the shortcut, you just click on it and then you just say use default and that's gonna bring it back to the back button. And then there's also gonna be actions up here. This is gonna be app specific shortcuts that you can assign to your mouse. So if you use Discord, you can go ahead and drag this mute button to a specific mouse button. Or if you're a streamer, there's a bunch of different stream settings that you can choose from. And every app is gonna have different commands that you can integrate great with the G Hub software. Now the next tab is going to be macros and this is going to be where all of the magic happens. So let's say you want to create a new shortcut. Let's say you can say unlimited click. So then you press enter and now you have to decide what type of macro is this going to be? Is it going to be a no repeat where you press it once and it just clicks once? Is it going to be repeat while holding? Is it going to be a toggle where it keeps spamming it until you turn it on and off kind of like a light switch? Or is it going to be a sequence which is a little more complex? But for the sake of simplicity, let's go ahead and have it as a holding type of macro. So if I press this, and let's say I wanna start recording. All I do is I click start now, 
and then I click what kind of action do I want to take. I want to record a keystroke, so I'm going to go ahead and click. So you can see a registered click down and let go click. And now I can say stop recording. So now if I save this, you can see I have a new command called unlimited click. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this into my back button over here. And now it says that I have unlimited click. So now we can go ahead and test this out. And I'm going to take you guys back to a super old school game. So this is a game called Cookie Clicker. It's just a browser game. And all you do is you click the cookie and you get points. So here's how this works. I can click with my regular mouse button and it's going to be exhausting for my finger and I'm getting cookies very slowly. So as you can see here, I've clicked 22 times, that's 22 cookies. What I can do instead is hold this macro that I created where, where it's going to be unlimited clicks and it's going to spam the click button all day. So check this out. Now I'm clicking, that's slow. Now if I hold it, look at that, it is racking up those cookies. I mean, I'm like just spamming this button and it's going. So this is going to be really awesome if you have games where you just need a spam click and it's just going to go and go and go. You can have this even on toggle if you don't want to hold this button. And you can customize any of these buttons to have any type of macro. And if you want to edit a macro, you just go back and you can click here and start modifying it again. You can even make macros type in specific text. You can do actions, which is the app specific commands. And then you also have things like launch an application on your computer. All you do is you click on this or you can click on system and then you can choose specific things like audio. And then you can do things like bass decrease, bass increase, and really fine tune your computer's audio. And then the last option is delay. You can go ahead and add different timing sequences to add delay or speed to each of your commands. And this isn't limited only to the mouse. You can also do something on the keyboard. So I can click record and then I can type in something like the letter I. And you can see it presses the eye down and then back up. And there was a 28 millisecond delay. I can go ahead and speed this up or slow it down based on what I prefer. Let's say 27 is too fast and I wanted to bring it up to 50. And there you go. And now I just click save. And if I go ahead and click my command here, it clicks and then presses the letter I. So there's two things happening, even though you don't really see it. But that's what's happening based on this macro that we created. And if you want to change the style of macro to make it toggle, you just go ahead and click that. And if I press save, and if I just press it here, it's just going to spam it all day. And you can see it's creating and deleting the letter I. And the reason it's deleting it is because when you click on a letter, it highlights it and then it retypes it and deletes the old one. And then to stop this, all you do is you repress the shortcut again and then it stops right there. So that's been a run through with the Logitech Pro X Super Light 2 mouse. This thing's gonna be lightweight, feel very high quality and have a lot of great customization settings you can do. And if you're an esports player gamer, then this is gonna be a really good mouse for you. Now, if you wanna see a dedicated hardware review video on this mouse, be sure to click the video up here. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.